YouTube, welcome back to my channel if you have not already done so. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all, today I'm coming to y'all real raw, real, real, real dry in the face. Real hot. But, y'all, you know how when you just be like, like, I know I'm not the only person that just have like these thoughts in my mind like really good thoughts um but you just have these thoughts about life and society and you just be like man like i know i'm not the only person i think like this like the world we live in and the society um that we're surrounded by today it's ridiculous y'all like it's it's ridiculous like the way our kids are being raised, what our kids are seeing on TV, what our kids are hearing in this music, like, it's ridiculous, y'all. And I feel like as parents, we got to start stepping up. We got to start doing a little better. And hear me out, because I'm not calling nobody a bad parent. I don't I don't believe in that necessarily. I don't, I don't necessarily believe that people are bad parents. I believe that people are not perfect parents if that makes sense. I feel like there's always room for improvement no matter how good of a parent that you think you are. And if you think you're not that good of a parent, you should definitely do better for your kids. Um, yeah, so I just basically mean by that, like for example, um, I have kids, which y'all know I got two boys, a seven-year-old and a two-year-old. And I do not like my kids to listen to vulgar music which i don't think any parent does but when they watch like social media like youtube um videos and things like that even though it's not necessarily vulgar music or the people in the videos are not necessarily saying the words exactly they're kind of they're kind of giving off a perception of it and our kids grasp that and I know, you know, a lot of parents feel like, oh, you know, they don't they don't know. They're not paying attention to that or they don't know, you know, exactly what that person means by that. But kids are very smart and kids are smarter than we think. And they definitely know how to put two and two together. And I always think about this when it comes to my kids. Like I always think about me as a child. And I just like, hmm, when I was seven years old and I seen this, what did I think it was? And how long did it take for me to understand what it really was? Or did I already know what it was? And I just think that as parents, we don't think about that. We think like you know these are our kids we're raising them the best way we can we're keeping them safe we're keeping them away from this and you know putting all this energy into it not realizing that society and you know social media and the music and all that type of stuff like our kids are grasping that and we don't have control over that we can't tell artists to stop making music we can't tell them to make specific music i mean you can block youtube channels and things like that but the amount of technology today that our kids is exposed to, it's very, very hard to kind of keep them away from that. And I just think that, you know, as parents, we just got to come together and work on that because we're in 2021. And I feel like our kids have already been left behind just a little bit, you know, because the pandemic came out of nowhere, you know, the kids were basically kicked out of school, then they were forced to do virtual school. And then like, you know, this school year, it came back so fast. Well, at least for me or my kids, I know this school year snuck up on all of us. It just came really fast. And I was just like, oh my God, like my son is in second grade now, my oldest. And I'm just like, man, like it just went by so fast when the pandemic started, y'all, he was still in kindergarten. Now he's in second. So that means from kindergarten to first, when the pandemic first started, I don't feel like he learned as much. So going into second grade, I was really worried about that. But that's where my parenting comes in. And that is the point that I'm making. As parents, we are so focused on, like, keeping our kids. Like, we're so focused on raising our kids a specific way that we fail to realize that we are not the only ones that our kid is surrounded by. Our kid is surrounded by their environment society their peers everything like that so we can only do so much but we have to figure out a way to kind of keep them engaged with us you know without really straying away to what they hear and what they see on tv and that's really important and i just feel like that's just something we need to work on 
Um, and honestly, I'm not. I'm not speaking for every parent. You know, I'm not. And I'm not saying I'm a perfect parent. I'm. I'm not speaking for every parent. I don't want to offend anyone. I just feel like y'all. It's 2021, and the things that our kids is exposed to these days, we're not even fully aware of it. Like. Like, I mean, I know, like, for me, my son has a tablet. Of course, I check it. You know, I make sure he's not doing anything crazy. But I don't look at every single video that he watched. And the one time that I did, I was just surprised because it it was kid content, but it was, it had an adult twist on it. And that worried me because I'm just like, why are adults even doing, like, children content? Whatever. But, yeah, y'all. So, this is just my little rant my little car rant and uh it's just how i feel i just feel like you know as parents we gotta we gotta pay attention to these kids y'all don't let society raise your kids don't let the baby little baby none of the babies megan Thee stallion cardi b's don't let them raise y'all kids okay but yeah y'all that's all i really wanted to say you know my little rant just my little thoughts of the day I just want to thank you guys for watching and tuning in. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh.